Today we counted what happened on the night a man and teenager shot and killed a man in Bismarck. Jesse Taylor Jr. was 16 at the time and he's being tried as an adult. Bella Kraft has more. A forensic examiner testified that Maurice Thundershield received numerous wounds from the four bullets that struck him in the chest, side and arm on September 23, 2022. This is the only one that was left in his body. The, the wound that went through the hip and came out the thigh, that would be a survivable injury. But of the other ones, any one of them could potentially have been lethal. In their opening statement, the defense said Thundershield was acting erratically that night due to drugs and alcohol. Dr. Miller testified that she found meth, fentanyl, and traces of marijuana in his system. She did not know how much or how it would have impacted his behavior. Would it be accurate to say that someone could be erratic, agitated, possibly violent under the influence of methamphetamine? It is a possibility, yes. Chrissy Reese was one of nine witnesses called by the prosecution. She overheard the argument between Taylor and Thundershield that night. She believes she saw Thundershield with something in his hand as he approached Taylor before he was shot. I don't know where it was because he was far away from me. So I'm not sure what it was, but he was coming towards us with something in his hand. Paramedics testified that they did not find a weapon on Thundershield when he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Chrissy also testified how, after the shooting, she, Taylor's mother, and others went looking for Taylor in Bismarck. After they found him, they said they drove back to her home in Warren, Minnesota. I don't mean she was wanting to get home. Were you okay with that, going to Warren with her? Yes, I didn't know. Yes, I, mean, I didn't know what was going on. Taylor was later arrested by Minnesota authorities. In Bismarck, I'm Bella Kraft reporting for your news leader. The prosecution is expected to call its last witnesses tomorrow and the defense will start on Tuesday.